everybody, it's Lacey. Uh, just here for my 33 week update. Um, okay, so I'm hoping this might just be a quick one. Uh, trying to do lots of things around the house today. Uh, like, right now I'm ironing curtains for the baby's room. And I've been washing all the bottles. I have so many bottles from my other kids and I do not need to buy a l another bottle in my entire lifetime. I have so many. It's crazy. Uh, and yeah, so I'll just tell you about uh, some, I guess, symptoms first. Uh, so I'm still sleeping really good. Um, I've been really surprised actually. I have been sleeping, I don't know if you guys can, uh, that's not too bad. Um, sorry about the glare on my glasses. Uh, yeah, so I've been sleeping really good still and I haven't, usually by now I, I have a rough time sleeping, especially changing from side to side, but it's been really not bad at all. Uh, I actually sleep really deep and I only get up to go to the bathroom. Um, it's usually just a couple times a night, but sometimes more. And so yeah, but <laughs> on a different note, <laughs> uh, in general I sleep good, but there's been three nights where I've had the strangest, I guess you can call it a symptom or just an episode of some sort. I don't really know what you would call it. But it's, uh, I don't know, like, okay. I don't know, I don't know if anybody else has had this. And if you have, let me know because it is the strangest thing I have ever had during pregnancy. It doesn't, and I've never heard of anybody else having it, so I don't know what the heck it is. Okay, so it was twice last week and then one week and then one night the week before I um woke up because I had to go to the bathroom but when I I wasn't waking up because I had to pee I was waking up because I had the worst pain in the left side of my stomach I mean my whole it, it like split down the middle of my stomach and the whole left side was completely tight and it I can't even describe the pain to you the two ways I could actually describe it that you might understand is if you have had a baby and once they break your water and you have contractions, the difference between that contraction and when your water's not broken, it felt like the contraction when your water's broken. And it felt like that, but it was only on the left side of my stomach. My whole right side wasn't hard at all. <laughs> or I guess I could compare it to like a Charlie horse in your leg. That's like the kind you can't get out and you can't move and you can't touch it and that's what it felt like and I couldn't get out of bed in order to go to the bathroom and I knew if I went to the bathroom I'd feel a little bit better and anytime I moved any any way I I was just moaning because <laughs> I couldn't get out of bed and so I just finally pushed myself out of bed through the pain uh, just so I could get to the bathroom, but once I got out of bed, I was hunched over in half and I couldn't stand up straight because the pain was so bad and it hurt worse to stand up. And so I just hunched over, bent over, and I just like inched my way to the bathroom and <laughs> my husband thought it was just my pelvis hurting because I wake up um, to go to the bathroom, uh, my pelvis hurts and I kind of moan and groan from that. So he just thought it was that, so he, you know, wasn't thinking it was anything else. But... I just finally got to the bathroom, went to the bathroom, and it did ease off a bit. But I was like, what the freak was that? That was not cool. So, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what it was. But then it happened again twice. But it happened on my right side the last two times. And I still couldn't get out of bed. I had to push myself out of bed just to go to the bathroom. It was insane. I don't, I, so I'm like so nervous about... It happening again because it is the most painful thing it's just like a contraction when your water's broke and I oh ugh. yeah I don't like it <laughs> so if any of you have had that I'm sorry I kind of rambled on about that but I didn't know how else to describe that so if any of you you have ever had that let me know because pff, I don't know what else it would be 
I don't even know what you would call it. So maybe I, I'm gonna ask my doctor next time to see if it's possible to get a Charlie horse in your stomach because I don't know if I would call it a contraction because my whole stomach didn't get hard. I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to see what he says. <laughs> okay, aside from that, <laughs> uh, uh, I think that's all my symptoms really. I haven't had, my pelvis actually, come to think of it, has been much, much better. I do have my days, but it's not every day, all day like it usually has been. So um, he must have changed spots or something and isn't on my sciatic nerve anymore so it's been pretty good um cravings orange juice i think i said that last time uh yeah orange juice uh watermelon i craved watermelon really bad last week but you can't find any watermelon where i live right now so i was like Ugh, <laughs> i really want some watermelon uh what else I think that's all. Yeah, as far as cravings. Um, yeah, okay, so I, I think I've mentioned this in my videos before, but the baby moving, he is like climbing out of my stomach all the time. I swear he wants out of there. Either he wants out of there right now or he just cannot find a comfortable position because he is just constantly moving. And if you watch my baby, um, my baby belly moving video, uh, then you'll see it but that is like nothing compared to what he does it is just crazy it's like i don't know he's trying to like break dance in there or something so and i'm pretty sure he's head down because i felt um i can feel such a hard thing at the very top of my uterus and i swear i felt his butt cheeks i was feeling it and rubbing it really hard and i swear i felt his butt cheeks it was freaking hilarious Okay, uh, yeah, that's all for pregnancy related, I think. Uh, I just wanted to say, um, this is my third child, and a lot of people don't have showers for more than just their first child. And what my family's done is they get to have like that very big, first big shower on their first baby, and then um, any child after that, we just throw a shower for them to get diapers and we just call it a diaper shower and they get to get diapers and wipes so because you always need that for the next ch children so my, my grandma actually she decided to throw a shower because my cousin is also due i think she's due like a week after me or more and uh so she wanted to throw a shower for me and her and this is her first so she'll get to um she already had a shower so they're gonna just do a diaper shower for me and her and um she's not cloth diapering so she'll be getting disposables and i and i told my grandma that maybe we could just have people give money so that i could get more cloth diapers since i'm doing cloth diapering um so yeah i'm gonna get a shower so that should be fun but she's doing it on april 16th and i'll be 37 weeks that day and i'm a little nervous because i went 37 weeks and three days with my or four days with my first and 37 weeks and three days with my second is when I went into labor with them and so I'm a little nervous that <laughs> maybe just maybe I might not make it to the shower or I'll you know go into labor very soon after that so I won't have time to go buy the cloth diapers with the money I get so anyway we'll have to see what happens with that and also uh there is one thing that I'm so ticked about I can't even Oh, it's made me so mad and I've been trying okay so I cannot find my breast pump and I cannot find my baby monitors okay I have looked everywhere in my house for weeks and weeks and weeks like months actually I have looked scoured my house and I can't find them anywhere and they they aren't where they shouldn't where they should be they're not with none of my baby stuff and I've had them in a closet for so long and I moved them one day cleaning it out and I have no clue where they are and I know I didn't borrow them to anybody and I'm just mad because I was like of the two things that I can't find it has to be my breast pump and the monitors I mean I don't buy I don't mind buying another thing set of monitors because you can get real cheap ones but the breast pump I don't want to buy another one because I'm gonna go buy one and then I'll find the other one that's what will happen so a little perturbed about that uh anyway so yeah that's i don't know that was kind of my little rant there for a minute uh this this vlog might be really annoying and stupid and random and whatever but 
you gotta have some of those in there, don't you? They happen. Okay, and then I wanted to tell everybody something I was excited about. Okay, this is like an up and down emotional vlog. <laughs> But anyway, I was going to tell you something I was really happy about. Okay, so my husband, and I'll try to do it quick because I, I don't even know how much time I've been on this video. Uh, but my husband's work, um, they've had like six layoffs in the last probably year and a half. And, no, it's probably been about two years. And um, they're going to be having another one at the end of this month. And we were pretty much positive that he was going to get laid off this time. He'd made it through all the other ones, but we were thinking he wasn't going to make it through this one. And come to find out, um, he works at a plant uh, not far from here. And then he there's another plant uh, probably two hours from us. And uh, he... The, that plant, he... Um, I told you he's a firefighter EMT, but the plant he works at, he's actually an operator like a crane operator. So he's not doing his firefighter EMT at this plant that he's at here. But the one that's two, two hours away, they had some firefighter ENTs because they have them on site at their plants. And they had some um, quit. And he had heard that maybe they were going to be filling those positions. So long story short, um, on a whim, he just applied for it and didn't think he had much of a chance because they weren't sure that they were going to fill the positions. And within a day and a half, he got the job after putting in his resume. And he got the job. I was freaking out. I was like, yeah! Because <laughs> I was so worried about, you know, not having insurance after he got laid off. And the baby, because it would coincide right when the baby was coming. And it was just not going to be good. So he got the job as a firefighter EMT. And he, it's with the same company. So he doesn't have to switch insurance. He doesn't have to switch payroll or anything like that. Uh, it all stays the same and he actually will work two days on and four days off. So he gets to be four, gets to be home four days out of the week and only has to commute one time a week. So it is just awesome. I'm so ha proud of him and happy that we were able to be so blessed with that. And I know there's um, so many people struggling with jobs right now and and money and all of that and I just I, I know how blessed we are and how uh, and we're entirely grateful for um, this opportunity for my husband to have this and we would never take it for granted because it's it's just happened so perfectly and we're very grateful for that and uh, I know um, Catherine from Truly Blessed I think I said I think that's the right one I know she, her husband's having a hard time getting a job and and they've been, um, you know, nervous about finances and stuff like that. And it's so stressful when you have a baby coming and I, and my heart goes out to you and, and I just hope that things can go great for you. And, and I know there's probably something great around the corner. Have you been, you've been so positive about it that I know there has to be. So, uh, yeah, that was our exciting news. So can't wait for that. And he starts Thursday, so he's super excited. Anyway, okay enough rambling for today. <laughs> we'll save it for next week. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you, thank you, thank you to the subscribers who went and subscribed to my twin sister's channel. I don't know if some of you may, may, or, may, may or may not know that my twin sister just started doing vlogs, a TTC vlogs. So if you want to go check her out, it's Chelsea Harsh and I'll put her link in here. And so go check her out and subscribe. You no know, support her just like you guys have me. And uh, and I want to thank all my new subscribers to my channel because I've gotten quite a few lately. And I really appreciate you guys subscribing and watching and um, leaving your sweet comments. And it's just been great. So, okay, we will talk to you guys uh, next week, if not sooner. And we'll see you then. Bye.